The most common objection I hear concerning the Bible is that it can't be trusted as God's Word because, well, it was written by man and everyone knows that men make mistakes. In actuality, the Bible was written through men by God. And speaking of how the scriptures were written, 2 Peter 1 tells us that holy men of God spoke as they were moved by the Holy Spirit. The Bible writers were not inspired as great artists or inspired to produce great art. The word translated inspired, it means God breathed. It literally conveys the idea of God breathing out the scriptures. Man was the instrument used by God to convey his thoughts in the Bible. Now the Bible is not one book, but 66 compiled under one binding, written over a period of 1500 years by about 40 different authors from all walks of life, from varying occupations, written in three different languages on three different continents, during times of peace and in times of war. The Bible's authors wrote exactly what God wanted them to write on hundreds of controversial subjects, yet with absolute harmony from the beginning to the end. Now think about this. Say we interviewed five people of the same nationality, working at the same job, living in the same town during the same year, and we asked each one of them to speak their mind on one controversial subject. What are the chances that they're going to agree? And yet despite all the differences in the lives of those who pen the scriptures, the Bible is absolutely harmonious from beginning to end. The Bible's remarkable continuity is evidence of its divine origin. And this unity is due to the fact that ultimately it has one author, God. The Bible served as a basis for modern scientific pursuits. In fact, modern science was birthed in the 17th century because of a belief in an unchanging God of order, purpose, and consistency, the God portrayed in the Bible. It is filled with numerous medical and scientific facts and has been at the forefront of modern day science. When scientists thought that the earth was flat, the Bible described the true shape of the earth and how it is suspended on nothing. Before oceans were explored, the Bible knew of the existing valleys and fountains and springs down in its depths. It even mentioned the hydrologic cycle with great clarity, thousands of years before science even had a drop of insight. It is the only spiritual book that contains fulfilled prophecy. Messianic prophecy, for example, foretold us that the Messiah would be born of a virgin in Bethlehem and that he would be rejected by his own people yet bear their iniquities and save his people from their sin, which ultimately came to fruition at the cross when Jesus proclaimed, it is finished. The Bible is God's living and powerful word. It can be trusted because it is inerrant, inspired and infallible. And though it has no contradictions, it certainly does have mistakes. The first one was when man rejected God back in the garden. Don't do the same.